I've always called her a fur baby or my little princess. My brain is trying to protect me, which what ha is what happens with PTSD. And so for some reason, I've been referring to her as a dog, but she's not. She is part of our family. A St. Pete woman is offering a large reward for her lost emotional support animal. She says friends in the community raised the $5,000 as a reward to show their support. And now she's asking for your help. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty has the story. We're in a St. Petersburg neighborhood where hundreds of lost dog signs like this one and this one have been put up in hopes of finding Nisa. Kathy Greyer's dog Tia looks happy, but she's not. She walks around the house whimpering. Tia's sister, a six pound Shih Tzu, Nisa, slipped out of the house on April 29th. That was the night that we had the really bad storm about two in the morning. And I was still on my bike looking for her when it was lightning out. And I knew that I had to come in because if I got hurt, then you know who would look for her and who would take care of Tia. Kathy tells Aid on your side she suffers from severe PTSD. She literally saved my life and helped me through it. Once she went missing, the nightmares started returning again. She took to the internet, but realized there's no central missing pet website. So she spent two grand on ads and signs that someone keeps taking down. It is so frustrating. So she hired a pet detective. And traced her to approximately this sidewalk, and then her scent completely disappeared. Disappeared in front of Shore Acres Elementary School. Kathy is hopeful someone picked her up and will bring her home. Her favorite toys are musical toys, these noises. Bark, bark, bark. To reach out to Kathy toy. via phone or email, go to the WFLA app. Kathy Geyer says she'll continue putting up signs like this one until Nisa is found. Now it's important to note she's already been contacted by dozens of scammers. She says to get the reward, you'll have to send her a picture of the dog and meet up with her in person first. Reporting in St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.